on today's Disney Roundup, new details shared on experiences coming to Disney Jollywood Nights, Pecos Bill Tall Tale Inn Cafe has an updated menu, and the first trailer is released for the Thunderbolts. I have all that and more for you coming up right here on the DRU. To infinity. Hey everyone, Jeff here and welcome to the Disney Roundup where I bring you up to date with all the latest Disney and Disney Parks news. If you're new to my channel, please go ahead and hit that like button for me and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to receive the Disney Roundup each and every single week. Starting with Parks news, coming this holiday season, Disney has shared new details for Disney Jollywood Nights. Disney Jollywood Nights events take place this year at Hollywood Studios on select nights starting November 9th to December 21st. New to this year, Disney Jollywood Nights brings a brand new experience, Glisten, a stunning skating show right on Hollywood Boulevard. Several times each evening, you'll be swept away by the grace and skill of international champion skaters as they perform breathtaking routines Teens, set to a vibrant holiday soundtrack including original songs and Disney favorites like Be Our Guest and When You Wish Upon a Star. For the perfect place to party with VIPs, head to the all-new Pixar-themed dance party where Joy, Frozone, Edna Mode, and other Pixar pals invite you to have a blast on the dance floor at Holiday Fiesta in La Calle. Jose Carioca and Panchito from the Three Caballeros join the festivities adding their charm to the spirited celebration of culture, music, and holiday cheer. Jingle Bell, Jingle Bam, returns this year, but will take place at an earlier start time, being at 10 p.m. Disney also says this year guests will be able to step behind the scenes of The Muppets Christmas Carol, set for your movie star moments inside the Stage One Company store, and there there will be no shortage of Instagram-worthy spots. New to this year as well, you can spot The Mandalorian in Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. And upon exiting the event, you'll be gifted six champagne-flavored marshmallows in a Kermit the Frog and Miss Piggy-themed box. Let me know what you think of the new offerings and experiences they've added for Disney Jollywood Nights in the comments down below, and if you're planning on going this holiday season. Guests planning to visit the Magic Kingdom? Be aware that Pecos Bills has received an updated menu. Over this past week at the Magic Kingdom, Disney has updated the menu at Pecos Bill Tall Tale Inn Cafe, now serving up a brand new create-your-own menu concept. These new options are filled with Tex-Mex flavors inspired by the American Southwest. First off, kick your dining experience by picking a base steamed tamale, rice bowl, nacho bowl, or Southwest Caesar salad, followed by one of three delicious proteins, citrus chipotle chicken, green chili pork, or Coca-Cola cherry braised beef. If you're looking for some extra goods, you can double your protein portion or add a second one for an additional charge. There's more than just these new bowls on the menu. There are new a la carte selections for both entrees and sides to choose from. Burger fans will love the double chili con queso burger, while the grilled masa flatbread is a plant-based option that is not to be missed. When it comes to sensational side selections, the new barbecue cheddar seasoned french fries or charro beans will satisfy the appetite. Those looking for a sweet treat will also be pleased because the sweet corn mousse and Mexican chocolate and horcha verine are the perfect finish to your meal. Fan favorites like the cilantro lime rice and strawberry limeade slushy can still be enjoyed when you head over to Pecos Bills. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of the new updated menu at Pecos Bills and if you plan on eating there. Returning after being gone for five years, Burudika will be back at Animal Kingdom. Per WW News Today and Blog Mickey, Burudika will be returning to Animal Kingdom for performances starting this weekend. Burudika last performed at Animal Kingdom back in 2019 before being impacted by budget cuts. Performances are said to return starting this Sunday, September 29th. Although it hasn't been confirmed, it's rumored that Burudika will perform five days a week at the park, being from Thursdays to Mondays. It's also currently unknown if they are back permanently or for a limited time. Time. Now in the company news, set for release next year, Marvel Studios has released the first trailer for Thunderbolts. Earlier this week, the teaser trailer for the upcoming feature film Thunderbolts debuted. Marvel Studios and a crew of indie veterans who sold out present Thunderbolts, an irrelevant team featuring depressed assassin Elena Boleva, alongside the MCU's least anticipated band of misfits. The film also returns to the screen Marvel Cinematic Universe characters Bucky Barnes, Red Guardian, John Walker, Task Master, Ghost, and Valentina Allegra de Fontaine, in addition to some exciting new faces. Marvel Studios Thunderbolts opens in theaters on May 2nd, 2025, and if you want to watch the trailer, I'll leave a link to that in the description down below. Set to debut next month, 
Disney has released the official trailer for Wizards Beyond Waverly Place. The official trailer for Wizards Beyond Waverly Place has been revealed, and the trailer audiences get a peek at the exciting magic, mischievous antics, and relatable characters showcased by the series' lead cast, including David Henry and Janice Leanne Brown, as well as executive producer and guest star Selena Gomez. Wizards Beyond Waverly Place follows an adult Justin Russo who has chosen to lead a normal mortal life with his own family. When Justin's sister Alex brings Billy to his home seeking help, Justin realizes he must dust off his magical skills to mentor the wizard in training while also juggling his everyday responsibilities and safeguarding the future of the wizard world. Wizards Beyond Waverly Place, a continuation of Wizards of Waverly Place, premieres with two episodes on Tuesday, October 29th at 8 p.m. Eastern Time on Disney Channel. The first nine episodes will be available on Disney Plus and Disney Channel On Demand the next day, Wednesday, October 30th. If you want to watch the trailer for the new series, I'll leave a link to that in the description down below. All right, everyone, that's you for this week's episode of the Disney Round. Roundup. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to hit that like button for me and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to receive the Disney Roundup each single week. That's all you for this week. Until next time, we'll see you on the DRU.